friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and it's time for Papa to have a haircut. So, we're going to do it outside where we can sweep it off the deck and go for a swim to rinse the hairs off. You're going to shave afterwards, I assume. You trim your mustache? Probably. How short do you want it? I don't know, so it looks decent. Uncle Jack short? I have no idea what that means. The last time I cut your hair really short, you looked like your Uncle Jack. <laughs> Just be kind to my bald spot. Well, you know, we don't do comb overs in this house, eh? I said be kind to it. Don't add to it, is what I'm saying. Okay, let's shape you first. Well, I uh, I canned uh, 75 pounds of tomatoes yesterday, folks. And today, I woke up, I was in so much pain that I stayed in bed till, what, 11, dear? Mm -hmm. And uh, Daddy cleaned the house. And here I am saying, oh, do you want to shoot some not shoot some. You want to, or do you feel like uh, when you shave, give me your razor and I'll do your neck hair. Um, I need one of them little electric ones. Like a beard trimmer one? Uh, one shot, Phillips. They look pretty cool. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe Santa Claus well, before then. Anyway, here's poor Papa cleaning the house and I'm not seeing what he's doing. And, uh, I said, oh, if you feel like it, you know, there's some roosters out there that need to go. Papa goes on out, does the roosters, and brings them in. And as I walk out in the kitchen to get the kitchen set up for cooking them, I see that he's cleaned the entire house. And here I was asking you to do more. I am sorry about that, dear, but thank you so very much. Birds had to be done. Birds had to be done. Now we got... Five more, four more. No, three, only three. We're keeping the one rooster. Oh, okay. We just have to pick which one we want to keep. There's one that's got, he's blue, he looks like a blue Orpington, but he's got red on his back. He's real pretty, but... I can do three in my sleep, so that's not yeah. so bad. Yep. And these ones are going to be easy because to clean them out, I'll just spatchcock them like I did the little banty. I uh, put some chicken strips in the little new wave oven and I will, as soon as we've done our swim, I will cut you up some tomato and stuff, put them on a bun. Yeah. It ain't ribs that you cooked me last night, but it'll do, I guess, eh? It'll do. I had ribs for lunch, so it's all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Leftover ribs. They didn't taste half as good as they did. It's because you didn't night. leave the barbecue sauce on them. You remember we poured it off and threw it in the garbage? Like oh, the, the dipping sauce. Huh? The dipping sauce. Yeah, yes, you should have left it right on it. And that would have soaked in as it cooled. Like when it cools down, mm -hmm. it sucks the juice back in. Mm -hmm. So that was probably, I never even thought. It just seemed a lot bland. Not as hot. Do we have any more ribs in the freezer? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Because those were really good. I need your recipe for the barbecue sauce you made. Because it... <laughs> <laughs> You look like you're no milking idea. a goat. <laughs> I have no idea. Ketchup, brown, sh no, no brown Ketchup, sugar. Ketchup, sugar. No, no sugar. I didn't have any sugar. Maple did you, syrup. Did, oh, did you put any ginger ale in it? No. Nope. That's good for ham. That's a good ham glaze. Ketchup, mustard powder, owl steak sauce, and Chinese spice. Owl steak sauce? Famous Dave's, I mean. We don't have any Famous Dave's steak sauce. Yes, we do. Not sauce, but uh, oh, the spices, the, the powders. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. That I, was it. I have to go and play with the can, or it's freaking out again. Give me a second. So she leaves us alone. It is a heck of a lot quieter around here. Minus three roosters. I'm sure the neighbors will be pleased. Did you talk to the people while I wasn't here? I did. 
Well, I guess I'll hear about it tomorrow. Um, one of the reasons, folks, I just left is because the weights, remember how I showed you to, to clean your weights uh, by soaking them in vinegar? It's now time to tighten up and clean the steam spout and everything as well because my weight is sticking open like so the pressure cooking them isn't really a science like no no. Is, so. no 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 it's not it's not that big of a dish mm. issue but I just don't want I want to keep the pressure up so I have to keep going in and knocking it back down the weight I mean oh come on oh, I guess I've got to see what I'm, I'm doing some of this stuff off me go through them cages too. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be doing rabbits anytime soon. Although I love rabbit. I love canned rabbit with a piece of bacon in it. The guy and you sells can them it. right up the road and probably buy them butchered? alive. Yeah, but or butchered. And then they're like $25 a pop. Right. Hell, they're $25 a pop alive. You buy them alive. We, it's not like we don't know how to prepare them. Yeah, but they're still that price alive because they assume I you're going to breed so. them. I don't think so. I think if you go to the man and he's got too many and you say I would like them for meat, he'll sell them to you at a decent price. Are you saying you want me to can some rabbit? I don't know. I'm just the guy up the dog sled at a farm. Yeah, I saw that. I think he does, uh, I think he does, um, or was doing, what are those teeny tiny little birds that people in the city raise quail. for quail yeah John's got <coughs> quail all right hold still have to finish this bald spot no leave it alone I'm not leaving it alone turn it or swirl I'm it I'm not giving you a friggin comb over <laughs> that's for comb over just nah, no that's the beginnings that's how comb over start okay yeah. Ow, almost got my finger there. Wouldn't be a first. Wouldn't be a first, just like butchering season. Mm -hmm. I actually did them chickens with that cut myself. Well, Quite now amazing. you've but now you've done it. When we go to do the other ones, you and I you've always, already said you can do them in your sleep. I always cut myself when I'm butchering. Okay, well, be careful when you do those chickens. Okay, let me have a look. Might be a little too long on top. It's all right. As long as I don't look like Einstein. Well, what's wrong with looking like Einstein? He's pretty sexy. He's pretty goofy looking. Yeah, well. All right, take your dip. Brush my back off. We don't need to put hair in the See, folks, see the bald spot he's talking about? What bald spot? Leave it alone. You gotta swirl it around till it covers <laughs> um, Hang on, let me see the front. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do this for his sake, folks. What he doesn't realize, well, is that his scalp is showing all the way through. It's okay. It's just not as bad. Bald men like... are sexy. That's nice. Sean Connery, Patrick Stewart. Pool's a nice 85 degrees. There he goes. All right, folks. I'm going for a swim to get rid of the hair off of me. And then I gotta make him dinner. So, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead with just another moment in the lives of the Wolfies. Take care, God bless. Well,